I say this passionately because I know what Kenya has lost. When I got the news that there was a plane crash, it was a very heavy moment for us and for me because I did make a commitment to the people of Kenya. And I have this to say. It is true, we have lost many Kenyans because of extrajudicial killings. It is also true that we have lost many Kenyans because of political assassinations. And I made a commitment to the people of Kenya that there will never be, and let me say this, as has been said here by others, for the avoidance of doubt and without any fear of contradiction, there shall never be again extrajudicial killings or political assassinations. There shall never be another occasion where we have bodies of Kenyans in Rivayala. It will never happen again. Not under my watch. I have full confidence in KDF. They are our foremost professional entity in Kenya. They have demonstrated beyond any doubt their professionalism and integrity. And therefore, I have full confidence that General Omenda and the team he has appointed to make sure that all details are laid bare on the accident that took away the life of General Ogola. I know the KDF are as concerned as I am, and indeed the family and every Kenyan, on the life of General Ogola. And I want to assure the country that the KDF, our Kenya Air Force, have the requisite integrity and professionalism to make sure that there will be no shroud of doubt on what happened to General Ogola. Let me also say, as a country, that for a very long time, ethnic bigotry, ethnic profiling, ethnic chauvinism has informed our politics and the events in our country. I want to commit to Kenya that we decided and I committed we are opening a new chapter in Kenya where every Kenyan will have an opportunity on account of merit and no other consideration.